Hi, today we're going to be taking a review of the Coil Master Kit. I paid uh, about 40 bucks for it, $39.99, which is a really quite deal on a Coil Master Kit. Because usually I send them go for online for about 120 Sometimes even if you get a good deal, maybe about 80 Four bucks online, which is still pretty high. There was one website that had this for about, you know, 40 bucks. And I just went to my local tobacco shop. I was like, hey, I'm starting to live into rebuilding coils. I'm looking for a wrap, you know, rebuildable analyzer, or rebuildable drip tip, you know, type of tank. Obviously, I want to get some wires, some cotton, and I'm going to need things to build it. So, they didn't have like pre-made coils there that you know you just unscrew the old coils, shut them, put in the new coil, screw it in there, and then you know, wicked with the cotton. They didn't have those because if they did, I probably would have got some coil master ones. You know, but it's like you get like ten or fifteen coils for like four or five bucks. I would have got those, but they didn't have them. So they're like, okay, man, we have. This, we have the wire here, and the cotton, and we have, you know, a coil making kit. And I was like, oh, cool. How much? Still like 40 bucks. I was like, man, that's why I saw only one website. But then again, you know, on the website, you see it's 40, but you're actually paying more than 40. Because, you know, you got to pay for the shipping and handling for them to ship it to you. So, you might end up paying like... 45, 50 bucks for it. So, 40 bucks, is it worth it for, if you can find it at a good price, 40 bucks? Let's take a look at it. So, it comes in this nice padded zipper case that says Coil Mass on there. Now, as to what version of Coil Master Kit this is, is this a version 1? No. Is this a version 3? No. This, I believe, is a version 2. Why do I say it's a version 2? Because there's something that's going on that's really weird with Coil Master version 2 Coil Kits. Coil Master version 1, you know. Everything in there is pretty much the same. Coil Master version 3, everything in there is the same. But Coil Master version 2, everything in there is completely different. You look on one website and you say, we have a Coil Master version 2 coil kit, right? This is what comes in it, okay? You see people on YouTube that says, I have a Coil Master version 2 kit. Okay, they say this is what comes in it. You watch another YouTuber with another YouTuber that says they got a Coil Master version 2 kit. And you're like, wait a minute. The other YouTuber had, you know, this, this, and this in their kit. But this other YouTuber has the same Coil Master version 2 kit. And yet, in their kit, they got something different. What's going on with version 2? So, version t Coil Master version 2 kits are always. Always, always, from what I've seen, are going to be a mystery grab bag. You have no idea what you're getting in version 2. Version 1, you know what you're getting, it's all going to be the same stuff. Version 3, same deal. You know what you're getting, it's going to be the same. Version 2, surprise, surprise, surprise! You have no idea what's going on in version 2, it's a surprise grab bag. It's like a blind bag. Only in this case, it's a case. So I guess you could say it's a blind case. Which is weird, weird. Coil Master. On your version 2's you should have said. These are the items that you get in version 2. Just like in version 1 and version 3. Nope. In version 2 they're like. This one might have a own weaver. This one might have some coils. This one might have some wire. You really don't know what you're getting in a Coil Master version 2. Surprise grab bags. Or surprise grab case or you know pay a case so just to want to point that out with you if you get a version 2 and you're like hey Bud Demon your stuff was different than what I got in my version 2 let you know ahead of time version 2's you don't know what you're getting surprise grab case 
blind case. So it does have this nice little zipper in here, or around here. So let's open it up and see what I got in my surprise case. Well, you get some of the standard stuff. There's always going to be a version one, two, and three. What are they? Side cutters. Some wire snips, side cutters. The cramping power feels really weak and loose in there, but it should be strong enough to cut the wires. So that's one thing that you get across the board on every, every, every single kit. Some wire cutters, or side cutters, you want to call it. Something else that you get, if I can even get things out. Some neo nose pliers, with wire strippers on there. Again, the spring is springy, but let's take it quick. So you get some pair of neonos neonos pliers, which is really hard to get that in the case. But I don't know why this is not even going in the case. You kind of have to push them at a weird angle to get them in there. Really f stupid. What else do you get? If I could get a pair of ceramic tweezers. So you get a pair of ceramic tweezers here, which is really great for when you have your little, you know, coil pre-built and, you know, especially when you're building coils, which is what this one's supposed to be for. Or even if you buy some pre-built coils. But you just need to squeeze them to check the resistance a little bit. Then ceramic coils is what you're going to need. So these are some of the things that you always get, no matter you know, if it's version 1, version 3, version 2, I've seen pretty much some of these things always in version 2. Even though I said version 2 is like a mystery grab, blind bait slash case box, you're always going to get your wire slash you know, side cutters, near nose pliers, solar tweezers, uh, weather tweezers, or they call them like eyebrow tweezers. Something like that, you know, you're gonna get these. I kind of call them praying mantis tweezers because they're kind of like a praying mantis hand. So, yeah, you get those. Uh, something that's different and yet the same a screwdriver. Now, some people has gotten two screwdrivers, not this type, but they got like a you know, one that would just be a flat head, one that would just be a Phillips. This to give you kind of the all-in-one screwdriver. You unscrew the cap, and you have all your little bits in here, or your little tips, flatheads, and Phillips and stuff. Let me try to get some of these bit in here. So you get one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So you get about eight little bits in here of different types. It has a screw on and off lid, a nice little uh, pocket pen clip here. And then, of course, it just fit in there with the magnet. So, yeah. So, with mine, I actually got, you know, a multi bit screwdriver. While well, somebody just get like a wetter fry hat and wetter fill ups. So they get two screwdrivers. This one I think is a little bit better. And yes, this does come in different colors. Mine has to be a blue. Someone else had a red one. Just that. Something else that you get. A weird pair of scissors. I mean these ones had like this weird little bob on the end of it. As you can see. Right there. So, no matter what, in every coil master kit, you're always pretty much guaranteed to get a pair of scissors. These scissors are kind of the standard scissors with a weird little rounded bob on the end of it. 
In other Core Master V2 kits, I have seen some suits that, you know, fold up into each other like this. And then you just unfold them and flip them out. There's that. What else do you get? Um, you get this little case here. What do you do with the case? And it has multiple devices so you can just pop out and put it in there. So if you want this session to be bitter, if you want this session to be just the same space. Coils. So if you're going to build coils, obviously you're not going to just build one or two coils and stick it into your little, you know, tank and wick it, right? Obviously you're going to have like a couple of coils. You're going to be making like five, six, seven, eight coils in advance. Put them in here. And then when you need coils, all you gotta do is just unzip this, open this up, grab your coil or two coils, and then you know, you're good to go. Again, something else I've seen that's different, this one's kind of a blank one. Some other ones, and we two will actually say coil master on the top. Yeah. Uh, what else do we get? Party to the fun part here. So what's in this little drawstring bag? Some coil wrapping jeds. That's right, like, it's coil wrapping jeds. And here's something that really threw me for a loop on the coil master jeds. This is a coil master kit. It's made by a coil master, okay? That's the company, that's the brand that makes this coil master. And yet, the coil uh, jids that they're coil wrap jids that they're giving you is made by Kuru Conception. So yeah, I have seen again on V two kits these blind mystery bots kits that some people are actually getting coil master coil jids, where it say. Coil master on there, and then you know, coil master on the bag, coil master on the jid, and then there was a little pin that you unscrew. You take this little stick out, you could pop in another stick and screw that one in there. This one looks like it's pre fits in here, but again, the other one you got the same free little coils. But it's kind of weird. Why would they put a Kuru conception coil in a coil master kit? Kuru Conception is made by a whole nother company. It's made by Kuru Conception. And we obviously know that Coil Master makes their own coil weapon jids. Or coil stick jids. As you want to call them. So why would they throw in another company's stuff in their own company's product? It doesn't make sense. That would be ear to like if smart Threw in a vape pool uh, mod, or they threw in some other mod instead of being an area mod, or you know, a smart mod. That would just be really weird, okay? And then you have, you know, how you use them. You want your wire down there, you leave just about a half inch here, and then you hold it. The rest of the wire goes all the way out here. You notice that there's a 1 and a 2 on here. 1 means it's further away from the hole. And 2 means it's closer to the hole. So how tight you want your wax. Do you want them to be a little on the loose side? So you know you can get your cotton in there. Or do you want them to be a little bit tighter so that they're going to heat up and hold the heat a little bit better. Then you just put it in there. And then you just start. Then after you have your wire in there. Get it kind of like one half turn. Just bend it a little bit and then put this on it and start turning and then you have a coil belt. So the blue one is the 20. After that you have your red which is the 25. And then you have your purple which is your 30. So you have blue 20, red 25, purple 30. And all of them has, you know, the same one and two on there. 
So, two, one, two, one. So, it's not like only one has it, all of them have it. But I mean, again, you know, that's kind of weird. Coil Master makes their own coil weapon stits type jids, and yet they're giving Kuru conception jids in here, which is made by a completely different company. And last but not least, what else do we get in this little fun mystery uh, big box thing? We get an Ohm Weeder. Now, it's kind of a pain to take this off and pop it on. It does take uh, two AA batteries, so I kind of already seen a little bit of the kit. You know, I open it off camera and pop the batteries in there. Because this thing is super hard to pop it off and to pop it back on just to get your berries in there. And this looks like the same one that Coil Master made for like their first version of an own weeder. Except, again, it doesn't say Coil Master on it and it doesn't come with instructions because you see this little V over here. And then you see this little Omega symbol for the ohms. On the other kits, they actually have instructions on there. This one's for your voters. This one's for your ohms. So uh, let's go ahead and take a tank and just screw that one on there. Now this is the one that, you know, I had the built coils in there. So we'll see what that's your quartan in at on the ohms. So let's make sure that that's nice and tight. That's good connection. Put the switch on. And something that we know is about this coil master version of the own weeder it's garbage it's not the best I mean it would not give you a consistent number I mean look it's saying that it's 427 now it's drops down to 14 427 430 424 as you can see just tell me what the freaking number is is it a 420 yeah and then, you know, a 417. Is there a 435? It's like, okay, I think I know what the number is. And then it's like, nope. So apparently, the last known number that it's actually stopping at, oops, it looked like it was 439, now it landed. It keeps on jumping around. This has got to be the worst own leader in the world. Because, I mean, look, it would not stay at a consistent number and tell you, this is what... You know, your ohms and your taint is weeding for your coil resistance and stuff. It just keeps on jumping around. It was like 470. Then it's like, no, 425. 440. 490. 418. Like, how can I be going up and down? And she would go up and say, hey, yes. Like, look, 422, right? It's saying that it's at 4.22. Oh! Now 4.26. Now 4.22 again. Now it's dropping down. 4.19. 4.22. 4.30. I can't keep up with this thing. This thing is freaking stupid. It is retarded. This thing is dumb. This thing, like most coil or uh, own weeders, you put your tank on there and say. Hey man, your taint's clocked in at like maybe 4.5 ohms. And you're like, okay, 4.5 ohms. This one, like, one second, 4.22. Second later, 725, 740, 756, 8. It's, it's, it's a freaking joke! What the heck? Would I ever use this coil weeder? <laughs> no. If I want to know what. The coils in my tanks caught in it. I'll go out and buy a better one. A lot of people have been saying you could get the good old like fifty six tower or more coil master coil, which is like this big disc or data plate UFO shape. People said that's okay, but if you want something that's pretty much pocket size and yet still a good price that you can actually see the spray on, go with an e leaf. A lot of people have been saying e leaf. On weeders, oh, like really good. You can see the 
own reader, very clear on what the little LCD display is telling you. Um, the tank seems to be attaching really great and good on it. It actually has an accurate thing of what it's reading out at. You know, as we see in this one, it keeps jumping up and then it keeps jumping down. It keeps jumping all around. Elif, from what I saying, you put it on there, you give it a second, and say, okay, this is what it's reading in it. 3.2, 4.4. And you know, it just stays that way until you actually go ahead and squeeze your coils or put new coils on and stuff. This one, it can't make up its mind. So I'll definitely go for a Coil Master Bid Boy. Well, that's not what it's called, but you know what I mean. Or go for a E Leaf. This garbage. Let's see. I think it went in this way. Because uh, this little coil here is supposed to be able to fit this. So does it actually matter which way you put this in? Yes, it does. I believe. That's the way how it is. So yeah. 40 bucks for a coil master. I'm going to say it's a version 2 V2. Because it kind of looks like a V2. Although, like I said, V2s, you get different things. I mean, the screwdriver I got was different from other V2s. The scissors are different than other V2s. The arm reader is a little bit different. The uh, coil case is different. The coil wrapping jid sticks completely different. I mean, Coil Master makes their own brand of coil wrapping jid sticks, and yet Kuru makes their own brand of coil wrapping jid sticks. Just like you know how there's different brands of mods out there and tanks. As you know, my favorite brand of mods and tanks is you know, smart. But yeah. Why would they give their competitors stuff in their own stuff, brand or company stuff? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. But yeah, anyway, that has been, you know, kind of the unboxing of, you know, Coilmaster V2 kit. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.